Welcome back to Pilar. I have an Atari flashback console here, Atari 7800. Found it at a thrift store for $8. Box is pretty beat up, but everything seems to be intact. Gonna see if it works. Comes with 20 games built right in, including the never before seen Saboteur. You get Adventure, Air Sea Battle, Battle Zone, Breakout, Canyon Bomber, Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Haunted House, Millipede. Saboteur, Skydiver, Solaris, Sprintmaster, Warlords, Yards Revenge, Asteroids, Centipede, Desert Falcon, Food Fight, and Planet Smashers. So, not a bad um, set of games. I played a lot of this on the Atari 2600 as a kid, like Adventure, Air Sea Battle, Breakout, Crystal Castles. So, these are the upgraded 7800 versions, I'm guessing. Um, I know Asteroids has an upgraded look. So you'll see that. But the good thing is it does work. So you know, unplugged here, power it on. I was glad, glad that it did work. I do have like one of these Atari 2600 consoles as well. That had a, quite a, I think more games than 20. So 20 seems actually a, a little light. I think they could have definitely up that. I'm not sure how, how big the 7800 catalog is. I don't think it's very big. And I think it was backwards compatible, maybe. If I, I think I heard that. That it was backwards compatible. Unlike the 5200, and it wasn't. I'm not sure. But, Yards Revenge is a good game. Um, Crystal Castles I liked as a kid. I don't know about now. Food Fight also liked as a kid. Warlords is fun if you have a couple players. Same thing with um, Air Sea Battle. I think it's a two player only game. So, interesting choices. So, you got all your equipment here. You have these weird 7800 style joysticks with these terrible side buttons. So, just video, one audio. This thing is super light, <laughs> very light. So, if you dropped it, I think it's done. Same with the controllers, don't seem very sturdy either. But it is in good shape. It's pretty clean. Doesn't seem to be wrong. Tangled. So take a second untangle this stuff. And we're gonna go over to the, the little little CRT and pop it on. Alright, got it all plugged up. Very small power button. And it works. So you just have a power reset. So you gotta reset to go to your catalog of games to pick a new one. And that's all there is on the console. So I don't know how big 7800s were. I know mm -hmm. this is definitely a, a very tiny thing. I'm guessing maybe they look like this with a cart slot. So popped it on. Adventure came up right up first. A little bit of nostalgia there. But let's see what else we can play. It took a second to figure out like how to get to the menu, but you do have to reset it. And it'll go to your menu, and you pick your games. So let's pause, which is nice. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Here's your menu for the Atari flashback. So I'm guessing that's more of what the console looks like. Got all your games that sit on the back. Nothing else. It would have been nice to throw like an extra game not on the back, you know, into the into the mix. This is a saboteur. I have no idea how to play this game, never heard of it. I guess nobody has. So I just kinda ran around. Plus I'm recording with my phone in one hand and playing with this terrible controller. <laughs> this terrible seventy eight hundred designed controller. But I think you just avoid getting hit. I was like, do I catch those things? No. So, let's play some people know. I think we'll go to um, Asteroids for a second. Oh, yeah. Maybe Air Sea Battle. There we have Air Sea Battle. Again, a two player game. I wasn't sure when I picked it, and I'm missing <laughs> lots of shots here. 
I'm eventually going to get one of these planes, and then it's going to bring out more planes once you get both of them. And there's a score up top. You see the big four and the zero over there. So no AI. Definitely need a second player. And you just have the stationary gun. I think you can tilt it maybe. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm finagling with that controller. So there is the Atari flashback for the 7800. Not a bad pickup for eight bucks. I wouldn't pay any more than that. Ten bucks would probably be the max I would pay for this. And it looks okay. Just very small. And it works. So there's that. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night. Wherever you are.